the ears. Wrap the yarn around your finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and the midfinger. Working to a magic ring, make a loop around your midfinger and pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and midfinger. Insert hook into the loop on midfinger. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on the midfinger. In round 1, start with 1 chain stitch, and then work 6 and crochets. Finally, end with 1 snip stitch. Work 1 chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. The chain stitch is straight the height and will not be counted into a number of stitches. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a way shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the way shape. We need to mark the first stitch of every round. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The third single crochet is done. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The fourth single crochet is done. Continue to work two more some crochets in the same way. Six way shapes on the side stand for six and crochets. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop to the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. The snip stitch, services as collection, is not counted into a number of stitches. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with one chain stitch, and then work set of once on crochet or increase for 3 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. 
the chain stitch is stress height and will not be counted into a number of stitches. Then work on some crochet and will increase for three times. We'll work the first stitch in the stitch where we just finished the snip stitch of last round. The hook should go through both loops of the V shapes. Work once on crochet, insert hook into the first stitch, yarn under the hook and the plop loop. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. Once on crochet is done, such a way shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. In the next stitch, work one increase, which means working two some crochets in the same stitch. First, work one some crochet in the next stitch. Then work one more some crochet in the same stitch. Once some crochet and one increase are finished once it is done. The second set. Work one some crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, which means working two some crochets in the same stitch. The third set, work one some crochet. Next, work one increase which means working two some crochets in the same stage. Three sets are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the first stage to join this round. Round 2 is done. In round 3, start with one chain stitch, and then work nice and crochets. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. The chain stitch is stress height and will not be counted into a number of stitches. Then work nice and crochets. Mark the first some crochet. Continue to work at more some crochets in the same way.
Nice and crochet the down. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 3 is down. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail. Pull the yarn tail out. Pull the yarn tail tight. Cut off this short yarn tail. One ear is completed. Let's crochet the other ear in the same way on your own. Two ears are completed. 